Gentleman from New Jersey is recognized for three minutes. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record letters of opposition from the North American Building Trade Unions and the United Brotherhood of Carpenters. Without objection. Thank you. Thank you, Ranking Member Scott. I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 3441, which is falsely called Save Local Businesses Act. The new name should be Crush Local Workers Act. Look, I'm happy to work with my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. We look forward to helping small businesses and helping them raise wages, but this bill does neither. It empowers corporations and it depresses wages. Employers are relying more and more on subcontractors and permanent temporaries. These temporary staffing agencies employ around 3 million people. That's about one-fifth of all the new jobs created since 2009. I've fought to raise wages for over two decades for workers. This bill lets corporations keep wages low by subcontracting out their work. They are subcontracting their conscience to put profits over people. This bill makes it nearly impossible for workers to hold temporary staffing agencies responsible for unfair practices or wage theft. It denies employers, excuse me, it denies employees a voice in the workplace. It prevents workers from joining unions, collective bargaining, which go ultimately to help raise wages. We should be lifting workers' wages up, not trying to crush them. I'll remind our colleagues that from 1930 to 1984, the courts were the ones who were making these joint employers' decisions. And it was Ronald Reagan's administration who first made this change. It was the Reagan administration who first made this change. The Obama administration brought it back to where it was. Yet, apparently, people are forgetting those very important facts. That's why I urge my colleagues to vote against this Crush Local Workers Act. I thank you, and I yield back the remainder of my time.